Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I am going to talk about step by step OpenShift 4.x deployment process. As part of the deployment process, previously we talked about vSphere 8 infrastructure validation, and now another prerequisite is configure DNS records. Uh, within our demo environment, we are going to deploy Red Hat OpenShift and we are using vSphere 8 and we have a nimble storage as a shared storage and we are using a HPE Synergy frame and three nodes, Synergy nodes are using for the deployment. Okay, and let's quickly recap our Red Hat OpenShift 4.x on vSphere solution architecture. As part of the architecture, now we are going to focus on the DNS server configuration. Okay, and in our previous session, we already talked about action plan and we validated ESXi 8, vCenter 8, and we Windows Server 2022 AD DNS and DHCP configuration. And we also have a Red Hat 8.x and helper VM was created. And even our vCenter system is joined to domain and we created a domain administrator account as well. Now I'm focusing on configuring DNS records for OpenShift cluster. So before we going to deploy the OpenShift cluster, DNS records plays a key role. And as part of the DNS record creation, we should create DNS record for our ESXi host and Active Directory, vCenter server, and OCP helper VM. And there are two important static DNS records, that is API VIP and Ingress VIP. And I dedicated two IP address for these two records. And as per the VM official Red Hat OpenShift documentation, this is required IP address and installer provisioned vSphere installation requires two static IP address. So we reserved two static IP. And the API IP address is used for accessing cluster API application program interface. And the ingress address is used for cluster ingress traffic. Okay. And DNS, we can use either Linux flavor or Windows flavor. Currently, we are using Microsoft DNS server and we, it's running on Windows Server 2022. And our domain name, anpslab.com, and our cluster name, we should decide. Our cluster name, I'm going to use OCP410. So if you want to change any different name also, we can change. Okay. So before going to create these two records, item seven and eight, we'll first verify one to six, all the records are created or not. Let's me log into our DNS server. And let's say AD server, launch the web console, and let me connect to the server. Okay, once it is connected, we can see there is a forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone and record must be verified within our domain name ANS, anpslab.com. We have EAD server, ESX123 and vCenter server. Even in the reverse lookup zone, we have pointer records also 41 to 45 already created and helper VM haven't created yet. We'll create a helper VM. Okay, so create new record and new record name is OCP hyphen helper helper vm name helper 01 and we de dedicated ip address is 46 so you assign the same ip address 192.168.243.46 okay and create associated pointed record and allow any authenticated user to update dns record with the same owner name so add ho host click on okay and once it is completed click on done so just refresh here we can see now the record OCP helper record is created and go to the reverse lookup zone and refresh one time. We'll see the all the records now. See 41 to 46 records are created. So let's back to the slide. See 41 to 46 records are created and remaining 47 and 48 IP records we need to create now. Okay, so before create, let me elaborate this two point how we can create API, API VIP dns record and ingress vip record because this is these two are the place a key role within our openshift cluster deployment and here is the high level overview even this information i captured from the red hat website see component api vip record must be created within this format 
that is api dot cluster name we already decided our cluster name is ocp410 so we should mention api dot ocp410 and base domain base domain means anpslab.com and we already dedicated one ip address for this record so 47 ip and functionality is api vip and similarly we have to create ingress vip that is also start dot apps format start dot apps Cluster name is our cluster name OCP410 and uh, ANPS base domain is anpslab.com 48 ingress IP. So this format only we have to create. So let's quickly log in our lab system and we'll create this record. Okay. So while creating same like uh, our OCP helper, just right click here and create new host record and while creating host record the format should be api dot and our domain uh, we have to provide cluster name let's say cluster name i am planning to give ocp and going to install 4.10 version so in short form i am just giving cluster name is ocp 410 and domain name we no need to give we already have a domain name here and enter the ip address so ip address is 192.168.243. and it's a 47 ip so just select this one and click on add host click on ok once it is completed click on done so just refresh here once and it will update it with automatically see api record is created the same record created in reverse lookup zone or not we have to validate go to the reverse lookup zone just right click here refresh once the 47 record is updated so if you see the ip address 47 and api dot and cluster name dot our base domain anpslab.com okay similarly when you are practicing in your lab environment you can do the same format okay and another record now another record is ingress vip so ingress vip also right click here and create new host record and ingress ip format is we should give like a star dot so star dot and we have to provide the name as apps and dot we have to give the name as a openshift cluster name that is ocp 410 and our base domain is already is there and we have to create the ip address ip address is 192.168.243. and 48 so record is create going to create now click on add host see host api was successfully created click on ok so now click on done and refresh here one more time just to update the record in come correctly see under open shift cluster name ocp410 apps folder there is a star wildcode record is created with 48 ip address the same record you can see under the reverse lookup zone as well right click here refresh once and you can see 47 is created and 48 star dot apps dot ocp410 anpslab.com is created okay so hope you understand how we can create these two static dns records specifically for api vip and ingress vip and the importance of these two records are as per Red Hat, this record is must be pointed to load balancer for control plane machines, and this record must be resolved by both clients external to the cluster, that means OpenShift cluster, from all the nodes within the cluster, that means all the master nodes and worker nodes. And same with this wildcard record also points to the load balancer that targets to the machines that runs in the ingress router ports which are worker nodes by default and this record must be resolved by both clients external to the cluster openshift cluster and form all the nodes within the cluster okay so that is the reason we are creating these two record so we created the api dot cluster name based domain record and we also created a apps record also while code apps record also created so now let's quickly recap our previous pre-implementation steps so infrastructure is ready and we configured the dns record for openshift cluster okay that's it in the next session i will show you how we can configure dhcp scope specifically for openshift cluster nodes okay so thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the grand cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now